Antiplatelet drug, Wikipedia article audio. An antiplatelet drug is a member of a class of pharmaceuticals that decrease platelet aggregation and inhibit thrombus formation. They are effective in the arterial circulation, where anticoagulants have little effect. They are widely used in primary and secondary prevention of thrombotic cerebrovascular or cardiovascular disease. Choice Dual antiplatelet therapy Antiplatelet therapy with one or more of these drugs decreases the ability of blood clot to form by interfering with platelet activation process in primary hemostasis. Antiplatelet drugs can reversibly or irreversibly inhibit the process involved in platelet activation resulting in decreased tendency of platelets to adhere to one another and to damaged blood vessels endothelium. A 2006 review states, low-dose aspirin increases the risk of major bleeding twofold compared with placebo. However, the annual incidence of major bleeding due to low-dose aspirin is modest only 1.3 patients per thousand higher than what is observed with placebo treatment. Treatment of approximately 800 patients with low-dose aspirin annually for cardiovascular prophylaxis will result in only one additional major bleeding episode. Often a combination of aspirin plus an ADP-P2Y inhibitor is used in order to obtain greater effectiveness than with either agent alone. The class of antiplatelet drugs include Prevention and treatment of arterial thrombosis is essential in patients with certain medical conditions whereby the risk of thrombosis or thromboembolism may result in disastrous consequences such as heart attack, pulmonary embolism, or stroke. Patients who require the use of antiplatelet drugs are, stroke with or without atrial fibrillation, any heart surgery, coronary heart disease such as stable angina, unstable angina, and heart attack, patients with coronary stent, peripheral vascular disease slash peripheral arterial disease and apical slash ventricular slash mural thrombus. Classification Treatment of established arterial thrombosis includes the use of antiplatelet drugs and thrombolytic therapy. Antiplatelet drugs alter the platelet activation at the site of vascular damage crucial to the development of arterial thrombosis. Thrombolytic therapy is used in myocardial infarction, cerebral infarction, and, on occasion, in massive pulmonary embolism. The main risk is bleeding. Treatment should not be given to patients having had recent bleeding, uncontrolled hypertension, or a hemorrhagic stroke, or surgery or other invasive procedures within the previous 10 days. Usage Dentists should be aware of the risk of prolonged bleeding time in patients taking antiplatelet drugs when planning dental treatments that are likely to cause bleeding. Therefore, it is important for dentists to know how to assess patients' bleeding risk and how to manage them. Identify the likelihood and risk of dental treatment causing bleeding complications. Antiplatelet drugs effect may be affected by patients' medications, current medical conditions, food, and supplements taken. Antiplatelet drugs effect may be increased or decreased. An increase in antiplatelet effect would increase the risk of bleeding and results in prolonged or excessive bleeding. A decrease in antiplatelet effect would reduce the risk of bleeding and potentially increase the thromboembolic risk. Drug toxicity also may increase when multiple antiplatelet drugs are used. Gastrointestinal bleeding is a common adverse event seen in many patients. Prevention and Treatment of Arterial Thrombosis Medications that may increase antiplatelet drugs effect Dental management of patients on antiplatelet drugs 
medications that may decrease antiplatelet drugs effect. Assess bleeding risk. Usage of NSAIDs as part of dental management of patients with vascular disease should be discouraged as NSAIDs has antiplatelet effect. Instead, simple analgesics such as paracetamol, cocodamol should be of first choice. If NSAIDs is required, dentists should be aware of the risk of bleeding and minimize treatment length. Medical conditions that may increase antiplatelet drugs effect. Drug toxicity. Chronic renal failure, liver disease, hematological malignancy, recent or current chemotherapy, advanced heart failure, mild forms of inherited bleeding disorders and idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. Food and supplements that may increase antiplatelet drugs effect. St. John's wort, ginkgo biloba, garlic. Medications. Medical conditions. Irreversible cyclooxygenase inhibitors, aspirin, trifluzzle. Aspirin and trifluzzle irreversibly inhibits the enzyme COX resulting in reduced platelet production of TXA2, dipyridamol inhibits platelet phosphodiesterase, causing an increase in cyclic AMP with potentiation of the action of PGI2 opposes actions of TXA2, clopidogrel affects the ADP-dependent activation of IIB-3A complex, Glycoprotein IIB-3A receptor antagonists block a receptor on the platelet for fibrinogen and von Willebrand factor. Three classes, murine human chimeric antibodies, synthetic peptides, synthetic non-peptides. Food and supplements. Oral antiplatelet drugs available in the UK. Streptokinase forms a complex with plasminogen, resulting in a conformational change that activates other plasminogen molecules to form plasmin, plasminogen activators, tissue type plasminogen activators are produced by recombinant technology. NSAIDS, cytotoxic drugs or drugs associated with bone marrow suppression, other anticoagulants or antiplatelet drugs, drugs affecting the nervous system. Carbamazepine, erythromycin, fluconazole, omeprazole.